This is Tauri Talk, the podcast from the Scuderia Alpha Tauri Formula One team. Hello and welcome to Tarry Talk, your one stop shop for all things behind the scenes in Formula One. I'm Josh the Admin, and today is a special. You're kidding me! (laughs) (laughs) I had that going. And today is a special day because Yuki's here to ruin my intro once again. So go on, Yuki. What have you got to say? Good morning, uh, uh, ladies how and are gentlemen. You Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, welcome to Tower Talk. Um, this is our fourth or third or fifth talking. Yeah, counting's hard. Continue. <laughs> um, and You're a pro. This is my special guest, Pierre Gasly. <laughs> <laughs> Buongiorno, Bella. Buongiorno. Come stai? You're looking good, as you're always. Look, uh, you're looking beautiful today. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt the bromance here, but I need to keep going. Thank you very much, Yuki. So, as I was saying, this is a very extra special episode because it is the last one that we have together. Um, so, I'm going to do the introductions again because I had it written out and I want to do it. To my right is the man who decided he wasn't getting enough baguettes and croissants with us and figured he could get more by joining a French team. It's Mr. France himself, Pierre Gasly. Bonjour, Mr. Croissant. Mr. Croissant, Mr. France. Mesdames et messieurs, uh, so c'est Pierre Gasly. Uh, je m'appelle Giuseppe. Giuseppe. I'm going to miss you, Giuseppe. Ah, me too. You know that? Yeah, me too. Uh, I'll, I'll, miss the, I'll miss the good coffee. I'll miss our admin. And I'll miss uh, Giuseppe. Ah, uh, that's the most, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. I know. Just want to uh, point yeah, out, he I've said been, me before you, so just don't. Just be quite strict with your uh, food request. Uh, oh, I, yeah, haven't well, been, I haven't been hard enough with Alphatar. I've asked for crescents for five years, but uh, barely, barely made This was the issue. That was an issue, yeah. Yeah, I've tried to speak with friends to just give me more crescents, please. That's all I'm asking for. <laughs> No done for us, no money, nothing, just the crescents. <laughs> and then it all came to a head at the French Grand Prix when they were giving out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that course was quite pretty nice, actually. Uh, I, I liked it. I don't know if it's, uh, for you it's good or not. It but, was uh, really I enjoyed good. it. Yeah. yeah, it was French made, like proper. Oh, yeah. Not really like a driver athlete diet, but uh, it was definitely yeah. worse. You're going you're gonna to anyway burn in a session, so, you know, who cares? Yeah, plus you're anyway 20 kilos underweight, so <laughs> who cares as well? <laughs> so, guys, we're currently in Abu Dhabi, and we're not in my room for once. We are in Yuki Sonoda's room, um, who's made himself very comfortable um, with a pillow on his lap. Yeah, you actually can't tell from the number of water bottles which he opened. He take like... <laughs> It takes, takes a sip. A sip <laughs> and then change like and then opens a new one. It's like, what? Uh, like four water bottles are open here. And no, then. I was just going to drink every, everything always, obviously. He knew you were coming, Pierre. He didn't want to give you a thing. Well, when did you arrive here? Uh, three, two days ago. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. I think, yeah. That explains. <clears throat> what do you mean? That explains clean. the mess. Clean <laughs> as hell. <laughs> even I clean it a little bit, even you guys come. You have, some, ru- before, so. you have some running shoes there. Unbelievable. Yeah, what? I will point out he you had a very clean some room. running shoes. Obviously, I love training. <laughs> I love training. Um, you've learned. You've learned the speech. Yeah. Like you, like you, t- you can tell from body. Yeah. I like uh, you know training. You like, like eating, right? <laughs> well, yeah, of of course, both I would say. Training and uh, eating. Now, I must say you have developed. Ah, thanks. You know like the Pokémon the develop <laughs> like different second second level. level. Yeah, exactly. okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually good. Uh, good to describe. Yeah, yeah, I'll say so. Yeah. So we've had a few races, and we've been all around the world since we've um, last caught up. We've been to Texas, Mexico City, Sao Paulo. So uh, Austin, Yuki, I'll start with you. You got points in Austin. Um, you ate well, I think. Did it redeem itself from last year? Because I think you're quite disappointed with the hype of the meat. And no, actually, uh, I discovered much more than last year. In Texas, um, especially barbecue steak, we went. I went to like um, the famous place, a uh, steak barbecue uh, restaurant, and also like a kind of different place. Uh, it was a 
squat. It's a religion for you. <laughs> You're not going anywhere without trying the, well, the I best try, food you have in town. Yes, exactly. I have to explore everything, right, for food. So if you go back home, like you go in Japan and then people ask you, so how is Austin? Uh, you definitely talk about the barbecue first. Of course, yeah. yeah uh, if you want to eat barbecue, I think that Austin is the best place to experience, probably, yeah. yeah. And anyway, I think in the race, uh, like you said, somehow I'm really good at, I mean, in the race, always able to score points there, even uh, qualifying or even, uh, yeah, qualifying is not in like uh, even, so this year was not really ideal. I would say I got a track limit, but anyway, um, able to score points, uh, that was good. I'm even quite surprised about like it. One kilo rebuy stuck. Yeah, <laughs> for, like, that made a difference, actually. You're so tight. I think it's because you're tighter in the seat. You get like better feeling of the car. Exactly. Yeah. You should go for like the <laughs> kilo rebuy every every yeah. single weekend. Uh, yeah. But a sector one is a bit hard, right? Hard. Yeah, that's why I struggle. Like, sector one yeah. is like a bit painful, right? Like, yeah, it's uh, a bit carry painful. Carry the rebuy all the way. Yeah, I can hear the noise from the seat. That's you know, <laughs> seat having a bit of a uh, crying a lot also because of my fat. But yeah, at uh, sector two, sector three, very good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially if it's slow speed corner traction, it's oh. good because more weight. Yeah, I can hear a bit of noise from tire, but uh, who cares? You know, it was actually we we pitted a lot for the you know the tag day variation. Yeah. So but I think you still had some barbecue sauce on the real tires. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. So it was good. Uh, was good race week. And Two uh, years in a row, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, and so you said you had a bit more time in Austin. Did you do anything else? Well, um, you had a few extra days before you went to Mexico, right? I, w- I went to uh, um, fire, fire uh, shooting range, shooting range place. Um, I tried Scar H, um, the guns I was playing in the BO2, Black yeah. Ops 2, Call of Duty. Um, that was super loud. And also I tried uh, handguns. The actual the handguns they actually use in the John Wick. Ah, uh, but it's talking about John Wick. No, not yet. We'll, we'll get we'll get there. Don't okay. worry, I haven't forgotten. <laughs> okay, well, I'm later. just surprised they like they let him hold weapons. I would never do that. Oh my glad, god, I was I'm su- glad I didn't. I go shot there with super you. accurately. Yeah, that's why I will be even more scared. <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's got a target. Especially when you you know the. The target, if you imagine that, for example, if you imagine with the guy you hate, uh, you can shoot more accurately. <laughs> I won't say, I won't mention who is this. We, we, I, we'll, skip, we'll skip that. <laughs> we'll skip Especially that headshot a lot. Boom, boom, uh, boom. Yeah? Yeah. Just, make, just tell me it wasn't me. Oh, no. no okay. No. <laughs> if it's you, I will miss, okay, cool. a, I will miss a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's so nice, you guys. <laughs> 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 Um, Nikki, oh, yeah, yeah. did you get to practice? I hope not. I hope the answer is no. But did you practice your American accent when you were in America? A little bit. That's more British. Yeah, I yo. know. I, How are you all? Yo. yo. What's up, yo? What's up, yo? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's, a, it's a hybrid of British and American. <laughs> it doesn't know where to go. You know what I'm talking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was not bad. I mean, no, not much progress, I would say, to be honest. But uh, yeah. I'm working on it. I'll give. I'll buy you lunch today if you continue this for five more minutes. Mm. Uh, well, and and Saint Pierre, what did you get up to in um in Austin? Um, in Austin, what did I get up to? I mean, we did try like a very good meat restaurant with Charles. With oh. Like. Uh, I think we're way too much food as well. I mean, like so much meat. I feel like over Austin and Mexico, I, I like, heard like, that the you most... ate uh, two kilogram of the <laughs> <laughs> steak, bro. No, yeah, no, no. Actually, you're right. That's why. That's the reason why I didn't score points. Was I didn't. <laughs> I didn't get the grams properly. You know, I, yeah. I just overdose it. Your body and... won't uh, fit suit well to two kilograms. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit less. <laughs> less. Definitely. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you forgot already. I forgot already. <laughs> So um, so now we had like a, um, a nice dinner. Um, I must say it was like quite a long time ago. Usually I go through the, I scroll through the library pictures. 
just to remember uh, well what I what I've been up to because it's just this end of the year is just too crazy. Yeah. Just flying from one country to another, another race, another like it's just been so so intense. Um, but no, Austin is cool. Always great food. The event was insane. We got to practice our swing together. Oh, we yeah. actually like did the exact same shots at the precisely exact. Uh, You're talking same about the meter. golf tournament in the paddock. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that was crazy, insane. Y'all. Yeah, how no. crazy! We get like three shots, and yeah. you got to copy me again. What me? <laughs> I, I it's so difficult. <laughs> well, That's right. So you don't have to have a free lunch. I hit it. I hit it uh, first. For, I hit it first than you, like earlier yeah, than you. That's how gentleman you, I am. I didn't want to beat that's you. That's why you copy me, right? I didn't want you to win. I didn't want you to lose. Yeah, I said, okay, yeah, let's stick yeah. with the first two shots. I got I got to prepare Yuki mentally for the weekend. Let's not upset him. I know how sensitive <laughs> he can be with this. Uh, no, this was cool, and um, yeah. I mean, just uh, just very busy. I and think in Mexico, I've just f- uh, I flew to Mexico straight away after the race, and uh, no, there was really nice. I went in the city for the first time, um, visited like some cathedral. Uh, it was also like the whole celebration for the Day of the Dead, so there was quite a lot of hearts um, in the city, and uh, and yeah, we changed from barbecue meat to tacos, Mexican tacos, and that was great. And I mean, uh, I'm like really focusing on keeping my weight down and just going running because I've just been eating so much the last few weeks. So probably I don't know, Abu Dhabi is slightly easier to do that. To respect the, not go crazy the with weight. the food. Yeah, I I mean, there's a lot of in uh, nice foods in. Uh, yeah, I know this. There was a nice Japanese restaurant in Abu Dhabi. Oh, you this just need to be outside it. in the sun and you're melting. I like know, yeah, I put bur- you out there burning. like for an hour and then you'll lose like a kilo just <laughs> melting from the sun. So that's, uh, I'll say it's easier. Yeah. Talking about Texas, I also went to uh, like vintage uh, clothes shop, an uh, outfit shop. Ah, that was really me. nice. Like uh, from the old, like 90s, uh, like outfits. Where's my present? Well, you went Mexico, right? You, you leave me without saying anything. So, you know. Liar. No, I'm not. I, the, always say I bye. didn't know that you went. I to always the, say hello. Always say bye. No, you didn't mm-hmm. say. I did. Oh, where's the WhatsApp then? Don't need WhatsApp. I, I say I, bye I, when I, I really, leave the track. Did you say to me you you leave you going to Mexico right Don't after? Don't do like there. fucking jealousy crisis here. <laughs> it's good to know he doesn't keep a grudge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it was really nice. I bought a couple of stuff. Yeah. Um, a lot of nice stuff there. I really want to go actually. You might go Austin next year again. Yeah. I heard we have a race there, so yeah. Now when I go then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's a dangerous double header for food, is what we're saying. And then we go have a week off, go to Brazil, which is essentially another dangerous one for food. Oh, it's the Brazil steak was really nice, right? Brazil steak, Brazilian. Ah, when Brazilian. we did the team yeah. dinner. Yeah. When I we forgot went. how to say that. Fogo, uh, Fogo, Fogo de Chao. Yeah, the, it's like an infamous restaurant chain. Yeah, where you like need to. Yeah, you be have on the green. Yeah, you have like a coaster which is green on one side and yeah. red on the other. So if it's green, they just keep coming and putting meat exactly. on your plate. And if it's red, it's like hang on, I've had enough for now. Yeah, I've just seen Yuki on green the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed that so much. Yeah, like literally every time the guy was bringing meat. He was asking. I wanted to tell him, just don't ask him. Just put the food, <laughs> just put the meat. We already in know the, the answer. In the in the plate. Yeah, I really like it. Actually, that kind but of. How? System. How? What's I don't the have secret? To ask. What's the secret? For what? But not to have like a belly like this eating the food that you. I don't know. Probably I have a special ability that uh, my stomach digests much quicker than. How I, many times I, you go to the toilet per day? Three. That's the ability. <laughs> That's the ability. <laughs> 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 well, actually, two. Two. Yeah. Normally you average in, two in and maximum three. Yeah. Yeah. Normally uh, three is not a good sign though. Okay, you know, like some Okay, I'm gonna stop yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need another toilet chat. Yeah, no, I think we had enough. Yeah. Otherwise it's like endless talk with Yuki. Yuki I know, it's, it's like always just, it's it's just there's two things. It's food and toilet. No, yeah. what what do you mean? I'm not talking I don't talk much about toilet. That was oh, the first thing the you first told us thing. to do in Japan. In Japan. Yeah. Ah yeah. Well yeah. So just stop in the airport. 
to do what? Like check, check How was the it? Actually, it was clean, out. right? It was clean. Yeah, you were right. <laughs> Thank I'm you. not saying you're wrong. Thank I'm you. not saying you're, you're, oh, most of the time you're right, but, but it's I heard, just... I heard that you, you didn't feel much comfortable, especially when you... I no, mine was too hot. Yeah, exactly. The, there was like smoke the coming seat, out of my butt, warm, like right? the, it was burning my... It feels really, really warm and feels nice, right? It was like 50 no, degrees, the, the... Warming system, it like makes your ass softer, you know, more comfortable. And I think I won't talk any more deeper, but... I think we've covered the toilet topic yeah, okay. yeah, in depth. Yeah. Okay, we'll move on. In between those races, we went to London. Yeah. And we were at the launch of the AlphaTauri store in London in Knightsbridge. Very nice store, I might say. Like Beautiful. that was really, really impressive. Yeah. Um, oh. And you guys got to be models again. I mean, that's in your DNA, right? Um, I got copyright from... Uh Copy paste from Pierre Gasly. So you know, s since I joined to see Avatar, no, until then I didn't choose, have that DNA. We had, to we had to choose the outfits for Will and Lawrence oh, from yeah. F1. F1, F1 journalist here in Abu Dhabi. Uh, we did well, I think. I did slightly better though. I must say, you went with. No, the thing is, I have to use your like outfits. The uh, Pierre Gasly, and that's the best collaboration. You that's why it makes bores. No, 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 no. Uh, that was the definitely the best especially outfit. Especially signature out and the side of the. Side you've of the as, outfits. You've never been as fashionable Come on. from the day you wore my, my <laughs> collections. I'd have to wear it also in the Brazil. Yeah. Because that holy you look good. But my signature is not that. Yeah, the signature is not there because you, you haven't <laughs> you haven't done any collection actually, yet. Yes, but I, well, <coughs> was, uh, was nice well, last time they gave you gloves, you cut the gloves with the knife in your kitchen. <laughs> like, how... <laughs> How is that like? Well, let's. Uh, how talk is that about even different, legit? Different. You, uh, you got to try but, harder uh, if you want your own collection. I like. I like your. I like outfits. You know, in Brazil it was a bit warm and uh, nice and warm. I would like to try in the, you I know, like the winter you say place when you tell the truth. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying at least a little bit, you know, positive things. <laughs> not about all the negative things. So. so setting the scene for the people who haven't seen it online, um, we put you in the front of the store at the windows with a yeah. with a banner like a curtain. And so when there's a lot of people lining up to get into the store because they knew you were there, they like to opening of a of a new clothing store. We drop the we drop the curtain and bang, there you guys are pretending to be models, mannequins. Mannequin. And how long did you last? How long did you last? Two seconds. Yeah. For me, it's uh, hard to not move still. So I have to move something every time, every per seconds. So I cannot move. You did well, actually. You you yeah, like yeah I must say you did pretty well. Yeah. But I think I didn't see you moving as well. No, the face was like. I, I, uh, you I cannot keep a straight face. Yeah. You're no. a shit poker player. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Already. Got, no. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm um, no, I must say it was it was pretty fun and uh, I mean the shop itself super impressive. Um, like yeah, you got really like impressive. the three three floors, so you got yeah. uh, like showroom at the top, a um, couple of offices. You got like a two floors. And don't forget store. our cars on the wall. Yeah. Thanks to. That's really cool. Your work last year, you made sure that oh. we got enough parts oh. from that. <laughs> That's he brutal. That, yeah. He can, knows he's okay. leaving. He's just Can't like, you know what? Gloves it. are off. I, you know what? Actually, Pierre Gasly uh, collaboration outfits are uh, sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Nah>. You're like. <laughs> oh, I say, nah, nah. I, I say how much I like your collaboration, especially the blue one. Yeah. You know, that's enough, right? Yeah, that's enough. From you, uh, from check you, it out lot. website alphatari.com. Y'all, pure ghastly. <laughs> no, but I, I must say it was really cool at the really cool at the shop. A lot of uh, fans and um, like people showed up, which was which was nice. A lot of French. Crazy, oh right? yeah, they were. They were all, yeah, they were all saying like bonjour, salut. Why are you guys talking? I was just and, and Yuki was like, like what? what are, we, are we in Paris? Like, <laughs> yeah, for I a second I, you said we were in point, Paris. I mean, we are in Paris. And uh, no, no, super nice. So I invite anyone who is going around London, lives in London, want to see Yuki in London. I'm not going to give your hotel address when you stay there. <laughs> I keep this private, but well, yeah, also, you should check it out. Okay. Well, I know you're also where you're staying. Where you, you were staying, yeah, you, actually. You knew. Yeah, I know. I mean, you know where I, I know stayed. Everything. Yeah. Not where I'm going to stay. I know. This is the thing. So. Okay, this is going to get out of hand. We need to move on. <laughs> All right, now to bring something to the table. And I had a couple ready, but Yuki made me aware of something last night. 
that he's really passionate about. And he almost alluded to it before when I told him to stop. Are we talking about John Wick? We're talking about John Wick. So, Yuki, do you want to take the floor? Yeah, so talking about John Wick. So, you know, John Wick is uh, one of the, I would say, strong guy. No, strongest guy. I won't, I won't say strong, strong guest, but like strong guy yeah. in actors, right? Or character. Yeah. So actually, I like filming. You like movie? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. You know what? Okay, then what actor or what actually character you think um, in the strongest if you have to make the ranking? I it's mean, a top I, three. Top three. Character is difficult. I would say like actor, I love Will Smith. No, no, no. We, we have to stick to. This could be de- uh, confusing here because it needs to be the character. So, for example, James Bond. So, you reckon James Bond is the strongest of them all? Mm, you mean like strongest physically, skills wise, or you mean like a, a character like with strong personality? Did you watch a. Uh, you just watch a uh, James Bond or what? Do you watch other movies? Ac- action movies? Of course, I was. And you're saying James Bond? Bro, otherwise you go with with like we'll, okay, with we'll be Batman. In top ten. Batman. No, we're not doing ten. You need to do top Batman three. Batman is gonna kick John uh, Wick's ass, for example. Nah. Uh, if you if you go like that. No, no. I mean, I mean, James Bond. I is strong, but Bro, come James on, Bond he, is like a real. There's a different other a real actors that human. Uh, they move quick, move quick, quicker. You know. Okay, then um, Jackie Chan, for example. Yeah, but that's the actor. We need the a like character. Character, right? So, for example, so for Yuki, myself. Yuki, yeah, do your top three and P1, then let Pierre do one. P1. Uh, Jason Statham from either Mechanic or Transporter. Yeah, but bro, this is unreal. What do you mean unreal? <laughs> like Transformers is unreal. No, no, Transporter. Transporter. Ah, Transporter, okay, 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 sorry, sorry. Yeah, right. Number two. Number two, I'll give John Wick, I think. Yeah. Um, number three, yeah, this is the thing. Number three is a bit hard. Um, I'll actually think about it now. So, well, then, no, 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 give, give, give me time. <laughs> okay, I'll put mine in because I said mine last night when we were at dinner and he got so upset. Yeah, because Jason Stasis was not in there, he wasn't in there. I put because, no. ah, wait, 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 he didn't watch, I mean, he didn't watch yet uh, Transport. Uh, yeah, it's okay, but I've seen the mechanic. Huge issue. I've seen the mechanic and The Wrath of Man and whatever. Yeah, like, Transporter uh, is one of the most famous film for the Jason Statham. Yeah, okay, but. Can't um, believe um, it. Transporter, I still watched not it, gonna be such a long time ago, I can't even remember the movie. Are you really saying the same, <laughs> are we the same page that, about Transporter? <laughs> Yeah, of course. The guy who, just... who is saying Transformer. <laughs> <laughs> So what, bro? I, you 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 got too much free time. No, you're no. watching too many movies. Ah, I watched uh, in uh, of course six until seven years old. Until then, I was focusing only on racing. Till when? Till now. Till now, you were focusing only on racing. Fully or fully on movies? Uh, no inside. movies. No movies. No Netflix. I don't have Netflix for app in my laptop. Why not? You're I'm like fully uh, fully on it for the racing. Bro, you're, you're famous on Netflix. <laughs> it's like everybody's talking Actually, about it. Actually, I have Netflix, sorry. <laughs> okay. So, have you got your third yet? Yeah. What is it? No, no. Okay. Not yet. I'll go. I picked number one, Ethan Hunt from Mission Impossible. Can't believe it. Okay. A lot of, a lot of bullets. He got a lot of injury. He got, he's not quick enough like a gentle system. Well, yeah, but continue. <laughs> but continue, yes. Two, John Wick. I think we can agree on that. And three, I put Bruce Wayne, Batman. Yeah, you yeah. see? Yeah, all three of those are going to beat whoever still, Jason Statham wants to play. Still Jason Statham. Well, right. Bruce Jason Wayne Hart, definitely yeah. Jason the top Statham three. Easy, easily uh, beat uh, Ethan Hunt. Easily. He don't no, have to even... The, the movies are called Mission Impossible and he still wins. Well, like... Similar. It's for a reason. Yeah. Well, that that what title said, but it's not really impossible to be honest. And mm-hmm. Jason Statham, easy. Level like a level one for him. It's like an easy game for him. Yeah, I will say, I will say, I gotta agree with the admin on this one. I think I gotta support the admin uh, list. Okay, I gotta cancel this uh, podcast and uh, <laughs> goodbye, goodbye to you guys. Uh, so uh, I mean, no, it's okay. You know what? I'll probably. Mm, if I can yeah, include a Batman, I, okay, P three Batman. Yeah, exactly. Batman, I think, has gotta be there. Yeah, in there. Yeah, but uh, I agree. No, there's uh, one night is enough to rethink myself, but 
still, Jason Statham will easily beat Batman. Sorry. Oh, I think I'll put like Jason Bourne in there. Jason Bourne? Yeah. That's yes, Jason, no, right? Jason Bourne. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we brought Jason, this up last night. He yeah. was my fourth. Yeah, I think Jason Bourne will be, uh, will make it to my top three. And then I put James Bond fifth, which made him rage quit and said, you're walking <laughs> home. <laughs> Moving on. Can't believe it. It is time to go head to head one last time. Scuderia Alpha Tauri proudly present I the one and only world famous, really like excellent, fun quiz time spectacular event. Spectacular event. It is spectacular. So now we're going to see how well you've gotten to know each other over the years. It's a head to head this time. So you will be going against each other, but I will ask the questions to each of you. Right. Okay, nice and easy. Pierre, I'm going to start. Pierre? You good, Yuki? Yeah, just background sounds. Okay, I've got the background sounds here, don't worry. <laughs> Pierre, I'm going to start with you. We'll bring it down a bit. What is Yuki's favorite food? It's hot. Japanese cuisine. I mean, yeah, I'll give you that one. Yeah, I think it's impo <laughs> almost impossible to, uh, yeah. Yeah, but I'll give you an extra bonus point if you can name the dish. Nah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's like some sort of like Japanese food from 150 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that like some sort of ramen or... Nah, Yuki, what is it? Not ramen, like a motsunabe. is a kind of dish that using the... I don't know how it's a bit... The, Meat, part it's kind of fatty meat. Okay. And uh, with the uh, vegetables and like a soy sauce uh, soup. Motsunabe. 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 I will, it's right. so good. I'll give you one point for that. Yeah, you should. Two, Yuki became well known for his team radio very quickly in his career. What was his famous radio message last year? F traffic paradise. <laughs> 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 I'll give you that. That was easy. That was good. And. Another bonus point, where was it? In Imola. Ah, well done. Let's go. This can be a three bonus points. Point. This is too ah, easy. Okay, so that's I three, isn't three, three? Okay, number three. What was Yuki's best result in Formula One and where did he achieve it? He achieved it in Abu Dhabi 2021. Fourth place. Well done. Well, well, done. well done. You know, Yuki, you've got, you've got your... You, well, you got a hard one coming up there because Pierre's rolling yeah, you at the moment. I, mean, <laughs> I, I don't know if you're going to get him back know. for this. I roast you one last time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this, is, this is good. What is what is the only game that Yuki plays? Oh, come on, he yeah. knows only everything. Game. What is the only game that Yuki plays? Apex. I talk it every time, every day, so... <laughs> I just know you, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Pick a statement which is true. Yuki was a good student who mostly achieved A's and B's, or... Yuki was an average student who has been suspended from school. You know what I think will be like, will be too obvious to go with the second option, but I want to believe Yuki was a good student. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you were a bad student? No, yeah, I'm not. He, you got suspended? No, I, was, I was always going to school. Why did you get suspended? I want to know the story. Uh, no, I mean. Why not? Uh, it's not a good story. It's not a good story. Yeah. Okay, it's not a story for podcast. Not for the podcast. Yes, it is. It's a story for it's later. A PG, PG 15. PG 15? 15 plus. What he, is that? I think he Neither. thought he was Jason Statham. Jason Statham. Need the parents uh, fighting? Agreements. Kinda, yeah. Okay, <laughs> he'll tell me later. Okay, and the last one. Uh, if Yuki could pick any actor to play him in a movie, who would it be? I mean, clearly the physics are quite similar, so I'll go with uh, Jason Statham. <laughs> <laughs> Annoyingly, we've had that on the podcast, like, like the entire episode, so that was an easy yeah, game. So you've done really well, Pierre. Okay, All I right, think how many what, points? How I was many? at four, you got... No, no, more. Five, okay. Oh, yeah, I was at... F so Yuki's favorite food, you got that. Plus, I you got, got uh, Imola and uh, Imola the radio line, message. So three. Then best result, four. Yeah. Only game, five. You did a... Uh, I just six. missed you got one. Six. You got six. six out of seven. Points. Yeah. So many points. So you did all right. Yuki. Like a penalty point. It is your... 
I'm going to leave that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me good ideas. <laughs> Yuki, it's your turn. Where and when did Pierre start his first Formula One race? Ah, this is uh, Malaysia. Uh, 20... Fifteen? Yes, you missed it. Sixteen, 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 sixteen. Seventeen. I said seventeen. My pronunciation was bad. You Probably. use your joker already. You gotta, you gotta do like a half. faultless. So half a point. Yeah, we can be generous. Half a point. Next up, how many brothers does Pierre have? Wait, I have to brothers, right? Um. One, uh, no, including Pierre? No. Without? No, without. You should have not asked and you had this as a backup if you... I might. have, I have, uh, three, four, four. You said three. Four, <laughs> four, four, three, four, four. I'm I sorry. Said, no, I, I, I have four. No, you said sorry, three. Sorry, Yuki, I can't give you that. No, come on. Sorry. All right, this one you'll know. Which town in France is Pierre from? I'm not sure he knows. Yeah. We've I mean, talked about it last year. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I know, it's, but it's hard to <laughs> pronounce it. <laughs> That's one excuse. <laughs> no, I give, him, I give him that because but if you would ask he, me, if he, it's yeah. not a famous town. No, but we spoke about it last year during the language, language exchange. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But even if he, he gets where, where I come from, it's okay. hard, right? It's, okay. His questions was easy and mine was like uh, super hard. I would say Tokyo for you, but I got it's no not idea. It's not even Tokyo, it's sorry. One hour. It's one hour. Really? From... See? It's yeah, hard. Yeah, but I don't know. It's like your town, like super small. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I give you the first letter, R. Uh, Paul Ricard. Bro, I <laughs> said with R. Pete. Ricard Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Ricard Paul. Ricard Paul. Sorry, Yuki. It is Ruom. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I thought you might remember that. Your your questions are really bad. Bro, you got half a point out of three. Yeah. What is Pierre's biggest fear? Um, the height, right? The airplane. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll give you that. That's what I had. You'd, you'd, you'd agree with that. I thought airplane. Yeah. Well, it's I, I'll give him that one. Height is okay. Height, but then he went to airplane straight airplane, away. I'll give you that. Yep. Yeah. But I would not say actually is my biggest fear. But I give you for the well, point you, because your questions are pretty difficult. I right? say I hate snake way more than. Okay. I also have that on the. Where's yeah. the? Where's the? Where's the? For example, the race he won or something like that. The Bro, best result in the Formula One. It's carry. not like, like you uh, got like hundred. Like, like you said. Almost. Next question. In what race did Pierre get his first Formula One podium? God. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, brilliant. God. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're swearing even in Italian now. Uh, I, like in uh, I think Brazil, right? That's right. Which yep. year? Brazil. I'll give you another 20, point. 20. Oh, is it? Uh, 20. 20. 19. Yeah. Right. Well done. Double points, so you have to be four no, points. No, no, no. Don't have points. Okay, you can have four Bro, points, you, but you still lost. So you I'm you lost anyway. You lost like. Wait, yeah, that's what. That was the like right, last two and question. Half yeah, okay, and, and the last question I'll give you. If you get it right, you'll be. Uh, maximum I give you, you'll still be half a point <laughs> behind me. You've <laughs> no, lost that one. No. You've lost that one. <laughs> what car was Pierre driving when he won the Bonza GP in 2020? What car? His uh, own car? Yeah. I mean the public car? No. no normal car he was The driving. car on the track that took the checkered flag. Is the Toro Rosso, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no, 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 Two. No! Oh, Yuki! Wow. 8001, 8001, 8001. Oh my god. Yo, I gave you that as an easy one, man. Like, how do you want the guy to be even focused? He's got like half of his body on his pillow. He's like half <laughs> asleep. Exactly. Yes. No, no, no. 8001. So, Yuki, you won the last two quizzes. This one is Pierre's. Okay. This is how to live on s with style. Yeah. All because right. you. Okay. Moving on. Yuki, We've got. You, you, you f***ed it up. Let's be yeah. honest. True. 
You disappointed me. <laughs> well, still, I Very got disappointed. A lot, of, a lot of points. Huh? A lot of answers that was correct. Yeah, kind of half. I mean, not half. Mm, it wasn't even half. It wasn't even half. <laughs> <laughs> more than half. More than half. Uh, you get, unfortunately, you do come ahead out of all the quizzes. I think it is 2-1 to you. But this time, remember. unfortunately. Did you win last time? Yeah, he won... He won both of the who has more followers. I let him win. I let you win this time. No. As a you know, I let you win before. <laughs> no, it's time to. Okay, it's we are running out of time, so we do need to move on. We're gonna move on to um, some fan questions that we got sent in to us via Twitter. There was so many. There was like I think over a hundred, and I had to go through them last night. And it was it was really good. It was okay. so nice to listen to them. But I had to pick a couple um, that we haven't touched on today. So um, we'll start with. We're going to start with Sam. Hi, Yuki. Hi, Pierre. Um, my question is, Yuki, when you open your restaurant, would you devote a dish to Pierre? Um, and for Pierre, what kind of dish would you want like devoted to you? Um, best of luck for the race. I like that one. I like that question. That's a good yeah. one. Of yeah. course, I will uh, let Pierre try. No, no. Dish. Would you give me a dish? Uh would you name a dish? <laughs> would you dedicate a dish in your restaurant on the menu and call it the Pierre Gasly? And what dish would that be? Um, okay. Um, yeah. Special special menu. Uh, in the December, I will say. Why in the December? Christmas, <laughs> kind of. Uh, well, fondant chocolat, that's why. Fondant chocolat. Fondant chocolat. Definitely, it's got to be in the dessert. Yeah, uh, the dessert menu. The dessert yeah. menu. And yeah. It's a crisp for like a kind of you know cold condition, right? Yeah. In Christmas. And yeah, uh, but if you make like a fondant, you gotta do like the real fondant. Oh, for sure. It's like the hurt melting, oh, like yes, all liquid that sure. when you cut. When you cut the when you cut the uh, fondant chocolat, it's just like a chocolate soup will come out <laughs> from the. And the, at the same time, the you fondant. see the Pierre Gasly's face. No, 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 no. Let's let's keep the Pierre Gasly's face. <laughs> Pierre Gasly's face. So either you gotta go with the uh, okay fondant au chocolat. I'm happy. Ah. Or like the bread, the bread basket. With it's gotta be. Side is a croissant. It's gotta to, be dedicated to Pierre Gasly bread's basket. Oh yeah. And, uh, but also, you guys don't have. I also any bring bread. with the rap song as well. Yeah, to the table. It's perfect. <laughs> that right? would make sense. Yeah. Okay. Glad we got that out of the way. Moving on to Saku. Hi, I'm a Japanese boy, Saku. Please, you're best friend. My best friend is Hiroto. We like playing football. Bye bye. He speaks That's a so bit ma- much better English than me when I. I, was I don't know how he. What, how age is, but. Uh, I think he was eight years old from what I remember from the email. So oh, cute. Yeah. Your yeah. Voice That's so cute. So, who is your best friend? And I guess, what do you do with your best friend? I'll go with. Uh, I'll go with Charles. Because I know him since like. Mm. I mean, so many years. Um, like, probably 13 years now. And uh, what do I do with him? Well, we do, it depends. First, we need to find time in his schedule, in which is crazy busy. AlphaTauri keeps us busy, but Ferrari keeps him very busy. But uh, no, anytime we can grab like dinner or do activities, I don't know, like go in the sea, do like a boat day or, or whatever. We try, to, uh, we try to make it happen. It's mm. obviously harder and harder to... To make it possible, but um, yeah, that will, we we both love activities and sports, so we'll play tennis or paddle or this type of this type of things. Yuki, I have a uh, luckily, fortunately, in the I was at school and the racing. Well, I'll mention the racing, and uh, it's a Japanese uh, driver most mostly. It's a uh, Kazuto. Um, I raced with this one, or no, no. Uh, it's a uh, it's from four years old. We we together from like a four years old. Ah, okay. And uh, yeah, I said Marino as well. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the guy who's driving me for me too as well. Yeah. Um, what do you do with him? Marino. Marino also, he was the same as like six years or five years old. But or seven you, years or something. Where like you that. go if you're in Japan and you want to do like uh, Japanese shenanigans? What? What do you do? <laughs> like if you're, if you're with them, what would you do in Japan? Ah, uh, just party. Like? Just party. <laughs> also like Toshiki as well. What is uh, Toshiki? He's a super formula driver. Okay. He's fast. Um 
is actually it's quite recently. I would say it's uh, from twenty sixteen. Uh, we were together. Uh, actually, we tested together in the Honda Junior program. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Moving on. We got. We'll do two more. This one's from Jack. Hi, those on the Alpha Tari Talks podcast. I have a question for Yuki. As a fellow short king myself, would you help me build and start my own short king exclusive clothing brand? Ooh. Please let me know. <laughs> yeah, actually, I can. I think I have a kind of idea that makes even good with a short height. So, you know, it's a. Uh, I guess uh, I don't know. Alex struggling also with height. I guess you know that's what he asked, right? Yeah, yeah. So, he said he was a fellow know, short king. We experience lots of uh, you know um, clothing, clothing, but clothing discrimination. Say, yeah, clothing is one of the topic for us. But uh, yeah, even if I have, a, if I can create something out of it, even the short height people can have a good confidence to walk outside uh, with a nice outfit. So I'll think about it. Um, if if I if I got a good news, if I have a new, good news, um. I'll announce in my Twitter or Instagram, so check it out and uh, make sure you also check uh, put your eyes in uh, aftar.com. Perfect. All right, we got time for one more. Let's get that part. We got time for one yeah. more, and this one was confidence is not what you are missing. That's for oh, sure. Oh yeah. Hi Yuki and Pierre, this is Arena from Singapore. The other day, I had a strange dream where I got into an accident and called Pierre for help. So this inspired my question, who out of the both of you are more likely to pick up a phone call? And who is more reliable in case of an emergency? Thank you. Uh, for sure, me. I agree with that. <laughs> First, you, uh, I, mean, I, don't even you, I don't even want to comment and answer that you question. Call, I got, you, both, you both are against <laughs> me here. You call Pierre. I've been, Probably I've been he, will, he will t- talk nice, but he'll come super late. M- minimum 30 minutes right, late, right? No, bro. If you call me... You won't come I'm, immediately. I'm, First, I'm you take a shower, you eat croissant. No, no, no. If I got to show up, if it's if it's important, I will show up. The, the problem is, will I pick up the phone? Like, it's I'm, ter- <laughs> I'm terrible with the phone. <laughs> that's that's uh, why I reckon Nikki yeah. would answer. Exactly. Like, I'm, I'm just terrible. But I do answer phone calls way more than messages. Ah. So if you are... In an emergency. What's your what's your phone number? <laughs> no, my phone number. What are you talking about? Well, what's your phone number? I haven't sent you a message this morning because you can't <laughs> even set your agenda properly, and we're going for dinner tonight, and I have to send you messages messages that you already received. No, no, no. I I'm change. like some sort of secretary no, I for change, I change. for Mister Tsunoda. <laughs> we need to move on because this could yeah. get out of hand again. Um, wanna, you want to read out the PS Gasly phone number? No. <laughs> Don't which do one? That. Don't do that. <laughs> Actually, yeah, which one? Angel, Devil. <laughs> Friends, enemies. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so sadly, after a couple of years, this is our final time that we're going to be together. So um, we've gone ahead and put together some a, a quick package um, of some of uh, your best moments that you can relive. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh, this is the race I won. Oh, yeah, I, won. I, won. I won. I won. I definitely won that race more than once. You no, no, no. Me, I won. Me. No, no, no. We what got the We got it on video. You took the bike from I... the belt. You went to the bus yeah, with my bike, Remember? which is like 10 kilos heavier. I still can't okay, understand okay. how you didn't okay, find straight. out. <laughs> then I see a Red Bull bike coming, and I'm like, why is it so oh, yeah. small? <laughs> and then Frank tells me, the why is it written? You bike at the <laughs> and you fucked up. I got Navi. Shut up with your eyes. No, I, I just like saying, Rainbow back. You're was, just saying that you lost the bus. Three, w, remember? Two, one. one, only one. You we took my bag. Right. <laughs> 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 you're probably now. <laughs> you're fucking long name, this one. My gift, uh, the teammates Peter Gasly. Ah, I don't think it was uh, <laughs> given to you. <laughs> it was a gift from Helmut. Yeah, Helmut. exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay. So just to quickly finish off our last episode together, what would you say you're going to miss about working together? 
Ah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would say relationship easy. I think just uh, the mood in the I don't know outside of racing, like now, you know, um, in it's the paddock. Chilled. It's just from relaxing, isn't it? There's yeah. just no anything that feels, I don't know, stress or a bit of a kind of, you know. It's not toxic. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's like, it's more relaxing than Even we uh, we talk, we we just, uh, we use a lot of toxic words, words, yeah. <laughs> each other, but uh, yeah. No, that's but what I think what's, what's good is... Um, and as racing driver is important. Not everybody everybody can do it. It's like when you get on the track, you on the track to race, and you race hard. But when you get off the track, doesn't mean you need to keep that sort of rivalry. Somehow so we are able to kind of because he's it a clear on track, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> uh, you, you can say, say that to me as you well. Can, you can yeah. say, you can say yeah. that to me. I know I'm a yeah. on the track, but then it's like. We both know when we go racing, we do what we we are supposed to do and the best way we can. But then after, when we get off the track, then we we enjoy the moments and we can be like just very just normal and and we just connect easy. Yeah. So uh, no, for sure, it's been like super easy to work together and yeah. also very enjoyable, genuine, which is for me the most important. Like to feel that someone is genuine. And uh, it's not it's not always the case. So, yeah, it's uh, good that we have clear difference um, between the work and the job. Yeah, uh, work and job is same. <laughs> 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 work and uh, outside of yeah. the job. So that was very good. And just finally, before we finish up, because Pierre, you really need to run now to your next interview. Um, what is one thing that you've learned from each other? Well, in the, in the racing a lot, I'll say the outfits. I will say the shoes, especially. Your shoe game is definitely better. The Jordans, right? Yeah. The Jordans uh, definitely. You just I, is, need I got to figure out your from size. You. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Yuki is the type of person he'll buy like a, a shoe size three times bigger than his one just for the <laughs> sake of having the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Put them on display. Yeah, I'll say yeah. What do, you, do you fit something at the like right at the top? What do you mean? Like you put some like paper? Do you put some paper like that your toes no, actually no, touch I mean, something? No, it's shoe, shoe size is perfect. Always what do you mean? You have like that much? No, 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 <laughs> no. I didn't have it. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, for sure. I've learned uh, like, especially in terms of food, I've been impressed. I don't think I've met anyone who knows, who has such a wide uh, food knowledge Anywhere we go, whether it's Japanese, whether it's Italian, even in Italy, the guy he arrived like two years ago, he knows more places, he knows more food, he knows <laughs> more than even like the the Italian that is born and raised in Italy. Like this is just uh, in, in, impre impressive and incredible. But uh, no, for sure. No, you always learn. That's what I say. I think once you get to Formula 1, you're 20 drivers. Everybody is super talented and you always have things to learn from any of them. So... Um, I can't pick up one thing in particular, but for sure, like over the last two years, there were moments where uh, you just see doing like uh, certain things, driving wise, racing wise, like you always have things to, to pick up. So, uh, you know, it's been very, very useful and, uh, and also like also very good to see how Yuki improves because I think compared to when he arrived, it's just like developed in all areas. So, um, yeah, definitely gave me a uh, harder time this season. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you created yourself because I learned from you. That's why, you know, you yeah. know, and uh, able to improve myself. So, well, we can talk okay. about later in the, probably in the bedroom or something like that. So. In the what? Bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> You're still not getting the invite. You're still not yeah. getting the invite. I want to know the story for why you got uh, sent out of school. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's the next story you're going to tell me off camera. All right. Well, I'm sorry to do this, but we really need to wrap it up because Pierre, you need to go now. Yeah. I'm getting messages left, right and center. Um, guys, it's been fantastic to work with the both of you. I've really, really enjoyed it. And um, well, I'm not the guy I'm leaving, so yeah, I know I've still got to, still got to deal with you for another year. <laughs> but the two of you together, it's been fantastic. It's been yeah. so much fun. You've made coming to work to the track like a joy. So thank you so much for wow. being so good together. It's been really fun. I appreciate it. I enjoyed the last one. Next year's enemy. Okay, Excellent. thank you. Pierre. Next year's enemy. <laughs> <laughs> you you can stick around. I got one more thing for you.
Well, Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, guys. So now that Pierre's gone, we can have some fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is an emergency. Please clear the air immediately. So this is your chance without any repercussions to say something that you're not going to miss about Pierre. And since he's not here, um, the for sure, go for it. For sure, it'll be the... A uh, rap song he always played before the session starts when, while I'm kind of meditating, but I'm not really meditating. Just relax myself, um, lying down on the couch, um, just feel relaxed. And just suddenly here's the rap song, like, whoa, 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 whoa yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> something like that. And just um, just other, other, other room just motivating himself. Uh, so that definitely I won't miss that. And... Um, he showed up always late in something, um, I don't know, for example... Today. Today, <laughs> kind of the this filming. So that, that I won't miss it. But um, I think that's it. Um, most of you, I will miss it for sure. Um, yeah, so I also that's two things. That's two, I think... I don't know. I have to think about it. Yeah, but no, but they're they're yeah. too reasonable There's things. Too they're re not yeah. bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, Rob. Yeah, the show up late was a bit, bit, uh, bit bad. But uh, yeah, it's okay. It's uh, I got used to it already. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can thank him for not being able to get to more fan questions because we had to really rush through the end of the show. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we will do, guys, we will do more fan questions uh, the next time we do an episode, and we will dedicate more time to it. I promise. Nice. Okay, Yuki, thank you for sticking around. Thank you. That's it. We are out of time for today. So many thanks again to Pierre Gasly and Yuki Tsunoda for giving us so much of their time. That's it for us for 2022. In, a, in the meantime, while you wait for our next episode, you can subscribe to Tarot Talk on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts to listen to all of our previous episodes to keep you busy through the break. Preseason testing starts in February and the first race is in Bahrain in March and it'll be on us before you know it. Until then, thanks for listening and have a great holiday. We'll see you in 2023. Have a great holiday. <laughs>